Welcome back for my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Fair Market Analyst at Handtech. On uh, Monday, the 4th of May, looking at euro dollar, which really did pull higher um, back in the last week. We had that ECB meeting, the euro reacted pretty positively on the back of that. And it really did start to um, pull through resistance. And it's a move that pretty much neutralizes, I think, the outlook because what we had is this downtrend uh, building over the past month or so. And that broke decisively to the upside now. And essentially, if you sort of take a step back on euro dollar, you can see it basically has gone nowhere. Um, you had this wild swings of volatility throughout February into March. But now the market started to settle down. It's basically gravitating back towards what essentially is these flat moving averages. Um, so the moving averages are flat. And you look at the, our momentum indicators as well around that sort of um, 40 area to 55 area on RSI. Again, sort of pulling lower from there. MACD lines sort of hovering a shade under neutral. Stochastics, fairly much, I suppose, a range-bound configuration. So you could argue a very slight negative bias on the medium-term basis, given the fact that the momentum indicators tend to sort of gravitate underneath neutral, and, and arguably you're trading sort of underneath most of these moving averages. But essentially, we're trading in a choppy range now um, between these sort of support levels, 725, 770 on the downside through April. On the upside, you'd still say sort of 1140, 1145, 1150. And you could even, if I get the crosshair on there, you can sort of see that the reaction high was around 1240. So around that 11 figure area, um, the resistance level came in at 1020 on, on Friday before turning back lower today. But as I said, very, very slight negative bias, um, as I said, given the positioning of the moving averages and the momentum indicators, but essentially little real direction, you can say, on a decisive basis, given the, the swings that we've had in sentiment over the past month, higher and lower. Um, so you wouldn't really be wanting to sit in um, euro dollar long positions or euro dollar short positions for any length of real um time horizon beyond sort of a week or so um, because essentially you're just going to give back all those any gains that are um, accrued so it just needs to be played um, on, a, on a cautious probably a near-term basis that the, the, the recent pull higher has sort of fallen away and you can see the hourly chart just rolling back again so you now start to bring 108.90 as this pivot line back into play if it starts to find support above that you could argue you again, sort of on a near term basis, maybe you start to swing back higher again, but essentially you're pretty much range bound and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a range play for now. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website where you can sign up for our webinars.